Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a, a video today regarding the process of normalizing audio in Caden Live because I got it wrong yesterday. I did a video of uh, myself uh, checking out an Indian and Nepali restaurant in Tel Aviv. And uh, as my good friend Marcus James commented, there was indeed clipping at the start of the track. And I was trying to figure out this morning, well, why did that happen and how can I avoid that in the future? In fact, it was clipping in a couple of places in this uh, in this video and I eventually did figure it out. And I thought, why not do a video to share some info about the normalization uh, process? Firstly, what is normalization? Now, I'm going to be cheeky here and read off the Wikipedia definition. It says audio normalization. This is just to understand what this effect actually does. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level, the norm. So basically what that means is it's going to bring up the quiet parts of your uh, recording and bring down the parts that are too high and give you a nice kind of constant level. Now something interesting about normalization is it's actually sort of mandatory in the world of broadcasting. So if you're ever watching your TV at nighttime or Netflix, right, you never kind of watch a show and then the ads come on and like you're watching the advertisements and some advertisement is just like wacky too loud that never happens the reason that never happens is because broadcasters enforce normalization in order to get on the airwaves in fact if you go into Caden Live and you have the uh, effect descriptions turned on which is very useful you can see there's a description here normalize dynamically correct audio loudness as recommended by EBU R128. Now, uh, EBU stands for the European Broadcasting Union, and uh, I'm sure if you uh, really want to uh, geek out on this, you can figure out exactly what's recommended by R128 for dynamic loudness. Um, but that's basically what this is doing. Now, there's two ways to add normalization in Caden Live. Now, there's actually three different normalization effects in Caden Live. When you get to the main, when you get to the effects tab, you are going to have a button that says Main Effects. Then there's all video effects. Then there's all audio effects. So main effects just kind of cherry picks the best or most useful effects. But if you really want to dig in through the audio effects, recommend it to go into the audio effects menu, which will have all of them. Now normalization is actually located under volume and dynamics. And if you pop that open, you'll get some different effects. I've never used two pass. This is deprecated, so I've never used it either. This is the one that I use and I think most people use for normalization. It's just called normalize. Now there's two ways to apply normalization in Caden Live. You can apply it on the track level or you can apply it on the clip level. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that if you don't already know. I'm going to drag normalization onto the effects. Now you might see in the top left, I'll try to zoom in on this in the video, it's kind of gone from grayed out to grade and it's very important it's easy to uh get this wrong let's just say right so if you click on it do you see what's happening as i'm toggling the filter button on the actual track level it's enabling and disabling the track effect so you do not want to accidentally you'll drag the normalization onto the track this is exactly what happened to me yesterday and it wasn't enabled so i'm going to click again and okay, now the now the hover text says disable track effects. So we know there is a normalization on audio track two here. Now let's just go through all these things. Target program loudness is by default set to minus 23 LUFS. That's generally standard. Some folks prefer minus 19 LUFS, but let's keep it keep it to uh, minus 23 just for the purpose of this demo. Now you've got something called the measurement window. Now that because this algorithm is going to manage, is going to dynamically adjust the loudness, it's going to periodically as the audio plays say, hey, what is the loudness here? Now you can choose to have that at three seconds. You can, choose, this would not make any sense having it at 500 seconds. You can actually bring it all the way down to one second if you want. So sometimes I do that. So you can decrease the measurement window in seconds. Now there's three more variables and these all are important. Maximum gain increase, maximum gain decrease and maximum rate change. So if you have a recording that like there's a lot of clipping here and then it gets back to a level kind of like what I had yesterday for whatever weird reason, you are going to want to, if you think about it, 
bring up the maximum level of gain decrease and the maximum rate change, okay? Because if you have to really, really level it down and do that really quickly, that's going to require a higher rate of change and a, re and a higher absolute uh, decrease level. And likewise, you can do the same for increase. So the good thing about um, these effects is that they apply dynamically. That means if I'm editing this video, I can literally put on headphones or use studio reference monitors and I can listen and say, that sounds good. No, we need a bit more of one of these variables and play around with it until your audio sounds good and consistent. Um, I hope that uh, video has been uh, useful if you're trying to figure out the Caden Live plugin in, uh, sorry, the normalization plugin in Caden Live. One final thing actually is I showed you how to add it to the track and you can also add it to just a clip, right? So this was going to apply everything on audio track two, but if I just wanted to normalize the audio on this particular block of audio here, right? I can just go to effects and I can drag normalize and onto the clip itself. And it's pretty much the same. Instead of going into the track effects, we can just go into the clip effects and we have the same variables we can play around with. I hope that video was uh, useful. For reference, this uh, entire video will be uh, normalized to minus 23 LUFS. Um, if you'd like to get more videos from me about technology, Caden Live and other subjects, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and listening.